these images that you see here, they basically talk about the rebirth of a place, of an urbanity that was missing there for so long. The Potsdamer Platz was one of the first squares, the most busy square in Berlin and the most famous also through pictures that showed Potsdamer Platz with the first ever traffic light in history about busy, about intellectual life, about theater, about performance. It was all a big part of German culture before the war and then it became dramatically different after the war because the square basically went from full swing to death. The, the square died in the separation between East and West Germany. Even in Wim Wenders famous movie about the Wings of Desire, you have an old man walking around the area trying to find the Potsdamer Platz, which was not there anymore. But in his memories, the square lives on. The poetic quality of these images is that they photograph the square in a moment where it is reborn. So from picture to picture, you can always get new layers of construction that are done that refer to other pictures. These two buildings, these three buildings are the main buildings that are already finished here. One, two, one, two, three. What I was doing, I was, I kept on having cameras there and photographing other parts of, of Potsdamer Platz that were still under construction. Through the fact that these exposures were taken over two years, you have the passage of the sun walking across the sky from December 21st to June 21st on the right side. And in two years the sun makes a walk four times across the sky. This is one year passing and another year passing. And here in between were clouds. That's why you see no imprint from the sun. Instable weather conditions. And in between you see parts of the new buildings arising here through the horizon, through the, it's like a mixture between space and time in the sky. So there are several ways to look at these pictures. You can look from very far, but the essentials, I think you have to go very close. Here, for example, you see the headlights of the cars waiting at this traffic light. It looks like a, like, a, like a mistake of the film or scratches, but this in fact are the cars waiting in two lines. You here I have a, a water being there frozen or whatever and, and the reflection of the sun makes it visible. You have even water inside the construction site because the groundwater in Berlin is very high and in the reflection that creates the impression that the water was there. Here you have the same view from, from a camera being on this roof, looking this way, but through the absence of the sun, because you're looking north, you, it looks more like an empty space. And you look at the bottom of the construction site. The technical aspect is, bit, is very complex and nowadays completely backdated because there's almost no analog film anymore. But in 97, analog photography was still on, very big. I knew that the only chance to make these works would be on glass negatives. That's why I bought... I went to Orvo. There was the East German part of Aqua that left. There was stayed in Bitterfeld in East Germany. And uh, I bought one of the last packs of glass negatives to do this work. So the Potsdamer Platz is actually made with film from East Germany. You need a tripod. The tripod for me is, is usually a building because when you think about a camera that stays for two years you, the, you need a place where nobody is touching it where you are sure that this place will not be changed so it applies more to conditions or to parameters of architecture itself here's the camera this white dot on this black stick this is one camera mounted on the library the Staatsbibliothek of Berlin and is looking across the roof of this 
musical theater and here you see the roof under construction. So this is how the camera looks into Potsdamer Straße, this street. And you see, and here you see both. You see the musical theater and you see the building behind. You see this through the whole thing. It's almost like an x-ray of a building. And it's, it's, this is what I'm talking about. The building is born. This is like a moment of materialized and dematerialized. And here is a materialization of the Potsdamer Platz. The poetry for me really is, is about that the city got back to life. And these images through the long exposure, they capture this moment, if you can call two years a moment, it's still a moment, where the building is, uh, is uh, coming to life. And of course we're talking about geopolitical changes, about the, the, the collapse of the wall, the collapse of the communist idea in Europe, the big division that ran through Berlin and uh, it's about a, a sort of a healing process not only in architecture but manifests in architecture. People got back together, the city got back together, so, so many things collide in these images.